kids. My brother was sick. My brother was going through something. He ain't hurt his child. He ain't wanna, he ain't wanna hurt his child. Thalmus Williams is grieving the life of his three-year-old nephew after a horrific crime. He ain't deserve what he what happened. Like, my brother just was going through a lot. In Kenner, Louisiana, Melvin McClinton Sr. grappled with profound grief after losing his older son in a fatal shooting on February 5, 2024. The wounds from this untimely death were still raw and Melvin found himself in the midst of a deeply challenging struggle to cope with the immense pain of such a profound loss. The community and his family shared in the sorrow, witnessing the ongoing emotional turmoil that accompanied this tragic event. On February 28, 2024, police and emergency personnel were called to a home on the 800 block of 27th Street in Kenner, Louisiana. First responders soon arrived at the scene to find 39-year-old Melvin McClinton Sr. suffering from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head in the driveway of the residence. Inside the home, his three-year-old son was found shot in a bedroom. He was pronounced dead at the scene. The Jefferson Parish Coroner's Office later identified the boy as Carmelo McClinton. Melvin was unresponsive but still breathing and was transported to the hospital. Family members informed the police that Melvin was struggling emotionally and mentally with the recent tragic loss of his 18-year-old son, Melvin McClinton Jr., who was shot and killed. They observed a noticeable change in his behavior as the weight of losing his beloved son seemed to push Melvin into a downward spiral and to a breaking point. His Instagram and Facebook posts emphasized his plea for a change and a cry for help. They believe that the weight of this loss pushed McClinton Sr. to a breaking point, which led to the fateful day of the shooting. Detectives learned that on the day of the incident, the mother of Melvin's three-year-old son came to the house to pick up their child. An argument started between Melvin and the child's mother concerning the discipline of their son. The situation rapidly escalated, which led to Melvin tragically shooting his three-year-old son. Overwhelmed with distress and horror at witnessing her son's shooting and likely fearing for her safety, the child's mother hurriedly fled from the home, urgently seeking assistance from neighbors. Melvin stepped outside into the driveway and attempted to take his own life with a gunshot to the head. Tragic story tonight, a three-year-old boy dead after police say he was shot by his own father. Moments later, the father turned the gun on himself. The crime started with an argument between McClinton and the child's mother at a home in Kenner. Williams was standing outside when he heard the gunshots. My brother was sick. My brother was going through something. A sickness that family tells police McClinton had been battling since his oldest son was shot and killed earlier this month, which left him in an emotional spiral. He wasn't sleeping. He was like, every time my mama would tell him to lay down, he'd be like, all right, mama, all right, all right, all right. Like, he wasn't himself. Like, my brother's just, my brother, it was just the, the pressure of all the stuff from him losing his child. Liz, Kenner police identify the suspect as 39-year-old Melvin McClinton Sr. They say that he's hospitalized and he is unresponsive at this time. But last night, police found McClinton in the driveway at the home behind me. And as you can see, the neighborhood is fairly quiet today. There are signs still from this scene, this investigation last night. There's crime scene tape out here and you can see signs that a young child also lived at this home. There's a football near the front door as well as a play mat with some Disney characters on it. Police responded around 715 last night and say McClinton shot himself in the head. Police say he was still breathing and was transported to an area hospital. When detectives went inside the home, they found a three year old boy shot to death. Kenner Police Chief Keith Conley confirms it was the boy's father who shot him. Melvin's brother still shaken by the harrowing incident, explained that his brother loved his children and only did what he did because he was suffering from the grief. And when I seen my sister-in-law run out the house and I heard a pop and I seen her run out the house, I just, I didn't know what to do. I just didn't know what to do, right? It's my brother was sick. My brother was going through something. He ain't hurt his child. He ain't wanna, he ain't wanna hurt his child. 
He lost his son. He's spitting the image up. Look just like him. In the midst of this unimaginable tragedy, he wants everyone to know his brother loved his kids. Beautiful little boy. Thalmus Williams is grieving the life of his three-year-old nephew after a horrific crime. He ain't deserve what he what happened. Like, my brother just was going through a lot. All the pressure you put on a human, a human can only take so much. A person can only take so much. And like I knew I lost something. William says Wednesday night's incident wasn't out of malice, but instead the breaking point of a man who just lost another son. McClinton's 18-year-old, also named Melvin McClinton, was shot and killed February 5th. Dr. Reggie Parquet is a clinical social worker specializing in community violence. He never assessed or treated Melvin McClinton, but says in some cases, trauma from losing a loved one can cause people to dissociate from reality and act out of character. Sometimes these individuals uh, will actually detach themselves from reality. Uh, they, they, they aren't able to recognize real situations in front of them. William says on Wednesday night, his brother wasn't being himself. My brother, he loved his children like to death, like anything. Like my brother, like he loved his kids. My brother, he just, the things that he went through for his losing a son, and trying to hold it together and everything, is, it, it, was, it was too much for them to bear. The ripple effect of loss has now changed this family forever. The community, already mourning the loss of one McClinton son, now finds itself grappling with the incomprehensible loss of another. It was a very emotional scene for, for not just the family members, but the neighbors that all knew the child. So it's, it's one, of those, um, one of those moments that that neighborhood will never forget. I know them personally. I know them personally. Uh, my prayers go out to the mother, and I am so sorry. This woman says she knows the family well. Actually, a three-year-old uh, was my daughter's student. Uh, she, yeah, she was his teacher at school. Very, very good child. He's a great, he was a great lovable. Gerald Lee lives right next door. This is where we are in this world, you understand? And again, as far as gun violence and all that kind of stuff, neither that baby nor he would have been in a condition. It's a tragedy of both ways. You know, the guy just last week buried his son. It just hurt my heart to hear that a three-year-old. That's it's just unimaginable. I'm, I'm in shock. You know, see a child, you know, an innocent child, Happened. This happened to him. On March 1st, 2024, Melvin McClinton Sr. passed away in the hospital where he had been on life support. Despite efforts to save him, the injuries from the tragic incident proved too severe. His death signifies the end of a heartbreaking story that deeply affected everyone involved and the devastating ripple effects of loss. Melvin McClinton Sr.'s story serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of mental well-being and the dire consequences that can arise when confronted with overwhelming grief. In the wake of this tragedy, let us collectively reflect on the importance of support, empathy, and intervention in the face of those battling inner demons. May the memory of young Carmelo and his older brother Melvin Jr. serve as a call for compassion and understanding in our communities. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.